Okay, today uh, I'm gonna walk you through real quick on how you can actually install Kali Linux on, on an Android device. In my case here, as you can see, I cast my screen via uh, the Samsung tools. Uh, so uh, the same process would apply to any other Android phone or the, or the brand or model or uh, whatever you have at home, right? Just needs at least, I think, two gig of remaining uh, storage to download the images later on, and that's pretty much it. So uh, for the first step, the first step is fairly simple. We go to the Play Store, we search for Termux, uh, we install Termux here. So this is usually really quick, as you can see. Once we have installed it, uh, we open it. We allow the notifications in this case. And technically, we have a shell installed now. We have Dermox installed now. We can use it already. However, if we would uh, like to install Kali Linux, there's a few steps we need, we need to do. So the first one is we need to actually uh, change the repositories that it will use for updates. We do that by typing termux dash change dash repo. And don't worry, I'll I'll write up a, a guide with step by step, and I'll post it later on in uh, below in the comments, right? So first step, we're gonna run run this command. You see, right now it's only the the main one. We choose all the other ones as well, and hit OK. And then we'll for the for the sake of this one, we choose the Arbitros uh, repo here. Say OK. This will be it. It will update now, as you can see. Uh, and we have 53 packages that we can upgrade. So we run real quick uh, a command called apt upgrade. And we say dash y to answer yes to all the questions it might have. And it will update the repositories with this. Um, again, this also doesn't really take long, as you can see, depending on your internet speed and, and what kind of device you're running in it. So in a few seconds, this will be done. Uh, there you go, complete. It will now install. And the important thing is there will be a few questions popped like this one, right? Uh, for, for the sake of this uh, demo, right? We just uh, accept the default settings everywhere. Uh, you do this by just hitting enter when it's prompted, right? So. Um, if you want to change some of the settings, read up first on what they do, what they mean, and how they could impact what you're doing. So again, we accept the default here, and again, we accept the default here. And in a few seconds, this will be completed. Okay, we are completed now. So the next step then would be we will actually download the images that we need and make them ready for installation of the actual Kali one. So at this time, actually, uh, uh, we 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 could say uh, we could say that we are halfway done through the installation. So let's just go ahead and do the rest. But before you do any of this, uh, we have to do two more steps. The first one is we have to allow the application Termux to uh, access the storage, and we do that by entering the command Termux dash uh, set up dash storage. Enter, I'll accept this one. Uh, and the second thing that we will need is we will need to download and install wget. Wget will use later on to access the, the repos or access the, the location where the image for Kali Linux is located. So we're gonna do this by entering pkg install wget and hit enter. And we'll say yes to this. This is really quick, as you will see. Zack, that's it done. And now we are ready to actually download the image and continue with the installation. Download the entire NetHunter, uh, NetHunter packages and everything is just simply done by wget, so this is why we had to install this. Uh, dash uh, capital O for the output, and we call it install slash dash nethunter dash Remux. 
And this is the URL where you can get it. Uh, off stack, okay. And then slash 2MCEWR. You can, I will just post the link as well and in the description that I'm gonna write up so you can copy and paste that, it will be easy for you. Uh, that's pretty much it. And we hit enter and there we go. So we have downloaded now the install script actually. So as you know, with any Linux, have a look what's there. We can see the install at the Thermox file that we just downloaded. Let's see a little bit more detail about that. Okay, so we need to now change the, change the file to be executable. We do that by typing chmod plus x, netcounter, uh, sorry, <laughs> of course, install, install dash netcounter dash demox. And we hit enter on that one. Now we will see if we do the same command again, it's now executable. You can see that, right? And that's pretty much it. We now run it by dot slash typo dot slash net hunter. Again, <laughs> I always I always mix that up. Install install dash net hunter dash demux and uh, I don't know typo and we hit enter. And there you go. So we are prompted with the initial selection for the install for the sake of the demo here, we're gonna hit one and we install the full image. And this is checking for package dependencies and downloading some stuff. And this is pretty much it. Is So it starts to download though. So this is about uh, one point something gigabyte. So this will take a while. So I'll just hit the pause button for now and uh, we'll continue when this is done downloading. Uh, as you can see, we have done downloading in, and it's now actually verifying the equality of, of the file and uh, it will now go ahead and extract it. This will again, depending on your device specs and, 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 and everything, it will take a couple of minutes. So we'll pause it again until we're done with the extraction. Okay, as we can see, it has completed the extraction process. Now it will prompt you and ask you whether or not you want to delete the uh, original file from which you extracted this one from. I'll go with no here, but up to you, depending on your space uh, needs. Say no, and that's pretty much it. And at this point, we have a fully functioning, a, a really fully functioning Kali installation on your phone. So you can just enter NetHunter at this point and it will give you the familiar Kali prompt and you can use what ping, for example, uh, ping any website, whatever, as long as you're connected to the internet, obviously, and it will be able to, to do that. You could say from one of my internal servers, let's say, uh, we want to give that one a ping, let's see if that works as well. And that works as well. Uh, we could now use Inmap. Uh, Sorry, again, typo in map, and we use the same server 192.168.68.122, and it will run an in map scan on that server. And, and we could now, for example, uh, run a Metasploit as an example, right? So we would say sudo msftp init and of course, default, and it will do just that, right? It will set up the initial database schema and everything, right? So let's just run it. Let's just finish this for a while. And this will be done. And the next step is already to actually run the, the console, which is very simply done by MSF console, right? So MSF console. You. And this will start up the very familiar Metasploit framework. So let's just check. Let's just wait for a few seconds until this is done. And basically, you have your Metasploit running on your phone 
and it's fully functional. So as long as you have internet access, as long as you can access on the network wherever you are, Wi-Fi, uh, it's pretty pretty useful to have this on a phone as long as the phone is reasonably with a large screen and 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 reasonably fast. So in my case, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Fold uh, C4. I'll show you later how it looks directly in the phone. But this is uh, a mirror of the screen. So you have all the features of Metasploit available at this point, command line wise. But of course, uh, just to demonstrate this as well, we'll gonna go an extra step and we actually gonna make, make it possible to run the full graphical desktop environment on your phone. So for this, the first step will be, and for this, this is also very simple. Uh, we'll just uh close this off here and we'll actually open a browser and we go to stair so i had this open already before obviously right so we go to store.nethunter.com which is where you can get the nethunter app store right and you're gonna download that store up so obviously download again gonna wait for this to finish we're gonna say open we'll use the packet installer and we will install it it's very straightforward, doesn't take long. Uh, get a couple of seconds, it's done. We open the up, and now we are actually in the store. So, now what we need to do here is in, in this case, I'm gonna use the NetHunter Kex uh, to, to make it possible to run the full graphical interface on the, on the phone. So, we click this one, I'm gonna say install here. It will download the file. It will now prompt you to allow the NetHunter store to install unsigned uh, or, or unknown sources, from, install from unknown sources. So we're gonna go to settings here. We're gonna just allow the NetHunter store here automatically will start the install process then. And we have a look at that. It will also take only a few seconds as you can see. So this is it. Uh, gonna go back here. And you can see it's already there and we can open it allow so now we will be able to connect but for this to work there's still some other stuff we need to do uh which i will show you now also very simple yeah so it's very simple very straightforward uh first of all we exit here uh and then we exit the kali prompt and we have to uh, set up a NetHunter Kex password for, for us to be able to actually access it. So we're going to say NetHunter Kex, pass WD, hit enter, and we're going to give it a password, whatever it might be. And it will ask you if you want to enter also if you only password. In this case, I, I opt for no here, and that's pretty much it. Now we Enter NetHunter again, and we're gonna run Kex. Uh, you would like to run that in the background if you're actually using it, right? But just for demonstrations, yeah, it goes in the background anyway. So default port is 5901. So we gotta remember that now. Gonna go back here, and we have installed already the Kex app, and we say open here. We come up with the connection prompt. So as you remember, we have to change this to 5901. And of course, we have to enter the password that we just gave it, right? That's pretty much it. Everything else, you can leave it uh, as default and we're gonna say connect. And there we go. We have our full graphical interface of Kali Linux. And let me just zoom in a little bit here. Um, so you can actually get an idea, as you can see, you will be able to run whatever you could run on a regular Kali Linux. You can open your terminals, you can type in commands here, like check what processes are running. Uh, okay, in this case, this is the one that you can run. Just clear it out here, uh, but... Um, you can open your Firefox. Of course, always keep in mind you're running this on a phone, right? But the basic commands, uh, you can use it all. Everything can be used. It's just a matter of how 
how fast it will run or something like that, right? We're just gonna open this one up here. Uh, let's see, need to zoom a little bit here because of the phone, right? But you can see, right? So can go here, see Kali.org. And this is fully functioning Kali Linux with desktop environment on your mobile phone. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I hope you learned something today and I hope it's useful for you. And I'm trying to post another video again in about a week from today. Have a great day, everybody, and see you soon.